This video demonstrates how to configure Portal Authentication on Wagia Cloud. Portal Authentication is a network access control technique. When users attempt to connect to the network, they are redirected to a portal page for authentication. Users can access network resources only after successful authentication, ensuring network security. While portal authentication may not offer the same level of security as 802.1x, its ease of use makes it ideal for public access scenarios, such as shopping malls, airports, and other public areas. Moreover, portal authentication allows businesses and organizations to customize the authentication page, turning it into a powerful tool for marketing, promotions, and advertising. Choose Auth and Accounts Captive Portal. Click Add Captive Portal to create a policy for portal authentication. Enter the policy name and select a policy mode. Wagia Cloud supports three authentication modes, which will be explained one by one. When policy mode is set to Cloud Auth, authentication will be performed using the built in authentication server in Wagia Cloud. Select the authentication device. When the authentication device is a REE RGEG series router or a REE RGNBR series router, you need to configure the network that requires authentication. You can select an existing network or manually enter an IP address or IP address range. After the setup is complete, users must be authenticated to connect to the designated network. When the authentication device is an AP, you need to select the SSID for authentication. Toggle on Seamless Online as required. When this function is enabled, you need to set the Seamless Online period. Once a user authenticates successfully for the first time, they can connect again within the designated Seamless Online period without re-authentication. Toggle on Portal Escape as required. When this function is enabled, if an exception occurs on the authentication server, the device disables authentication to allow all clients to directly access the internet. Once the authentication server recovers, authentication will be automatically re-enabled. When policy mode is set to local, authentication is performed on the local device. Portal pages and cloud accounts in Wagia Cloud are synchronized with the device for local authentication. Set the network that requires authentication. You can select an existing network or manually enter an IP address or IP address range. After the setup is complete, users must be authenticated to connect to the designated network. When policy mode is set to external, authentication is performed on a third-party authentication server. When authentication device is set to REE Gateway, Auth protocol is set to WSPR. Set the network that requires authentication. You can select an existing network or manually enter an IP address or IP address range. After the setup is complete, users must be authenticated to connect to the designated network. Enter the URL of the third-party server. Click Edit to set request parameters. Default parameters are used when parameter template is set to Wagia or WagiaChap. Set the authentication type. Radius, wireless clients are authenticated by the Radius server. Local account, wireless clients are authenticated based on local username and password. None, no authentication is required for wireless clients. When auth type is set to Radius, you need to set Radius encryption method, auth server group, and accounting server group. When authentication device is set to Wagia Enterprise AP, Auth protocol is set to Wi-Fi dog. Select the SSID that requires authentication. Configure the portal server URL and the portal IP address. Set other parameters as required. When policy mode is set to cloud auth or local, you need to configure the portal page. You can select an existing portal page or click Add Page to create a portal page. For details, see the following video. How to configure a portal template using Wagia Cloud version 1.1. When login options is set to voucher or account. 
choose off and accounts user management to create a voucher or account for user login. For details, see the following video how to configure user management using Wagia Cloud version 1.1. Click OK. When account-based authentication is configured for a specific SSID on the REAP, the portal page appears when a device connects to that SSID. Once the username and password are entered correctly, the device will be authenticated and granted access to the internet. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.